Great news for all you SoFi and IPOE fans. Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video we're going to look at what's going on with IPOE, why it's up 7%, and what can happen in the near future. Also, go and get your three free stocks using the links in the description below when you sign up for Weeble and Robinhood. So guys, getting into the announcement, we see that SoFi is going to trade on the NASDAQ as SoFi, and it was announced today. So we're seeing many people pump into the stock after we see that they're going to list uh, the new shares that they're going to trade onto the NASDAQ. So they're going to transfer the original Class A shares and the redeemable warrants from the New York Stock Exchange to the NASDAQ global market. So we're going to see that that's good to see for SoFi, particularly since it's a fintech company, because many of these financial and tech firms like to list on the NASDAQ as well, because the NASDAQ is very tech central. So we're seeing that that's the main reason why the stock is pumping in the near term. Now, we also see that trading is expected to begin on the NASDAQ on June 1st, assuming that all these business issues that they need to file and finish are done by May 28th. So that's going to be the main thing to look at. We know that these are probably going to be done anyways. These things have been agreed upon. So it's just a matter of putting pen to paper and making sure we have all the actual documents to list on the NASDAQ. So that's kind of what's been going on. I want to point out that this isn't that big of a catalyst to have such a huge pump in the stock. It shouldn't be taken with huge importance, but it's nice to see that they are going to list on the NASDAQ. And just to look over here, if you guys don't know what SoFi is, it's kind of this platform over here for many loans that people can get, um, making it easier, getting your money right, as they say here. You see that it's kind of a one-stop shop for your finances where you can get many loans, such as student loans, home loans, private student loans, personal loans, anything really you can think of, insurance as well. And we also see that it's kind of a setup that's fast and easy. And they consider that you are kind of a member because they give you access to complimentary financial advice, member events, and the top-notch referral program. So basically, these are kind of all the perks that if you're looking to invest in SoFi, this is what you get in the company, which is very good. Um, it's nice to see a company that is taking a more modern approach to finance. So that's interesting to see for IPOE. Now let's head to the stock chart and looking at the stock chart guys, uh, let's go down to the hourly chart first and the hourly chart is signaling a more bullish momentum stock trade right now because we're closing above the previous resistance level which we trended lower to right. So on the hourly chart we're looking to be more bullish, we are higher on the stochastic and this pump was nice to see but we're currently seeing a slight pullback in the stock as well. We were up around 10%, but we've pulled back 2 to 3% on the day. So currently, this is kind of the region that we're looking for um, uh, IPOE to kind of trend and break out of. But I want you to notice that here is a huge trend line we have been using for IPOE and getting rejected by, right? We've kind of tested this trend line once, twice, a third time, a fourth time, and a fifth time. So... This can be a huge level where we get rejected, and I'm about to make it clear for you guys on the daily and weekly chart. So let's head into the daily chart just to get a clearer picture. And when you look at this on the daily chart, guys, you see that we're still in this channel over here. We're kind of deciding where we want to break out of, right? This channel over here has been established for quite some time, and we've trended to several times, right? We've tested the top of this area five times right about now, and also the bottom of this area four times. So if IPOE can't break above this channel, engulf this previous high that we saw on May 10th, that can be much more bullish for the stock to send it much higher. But I also want to note that we are getting slightly rejected by the 50 exponential daily moving average as well. You guys know that when the 20 and 50 exponential daily moving averages cross over, that is more bearish for the stock. And also when the price action crosses under them as well, which we see that the 20 exponential daily moving average did act as a huge level of resistance several times, right? Since we broke down here, another time here, and another time here as well. And currently we're breaking above it, but the 50 exponential daily moving average is having huge pressure also. So keep an eye out for these regions and where they can trend to in the near future. And I really do think that it's possible for IPO to get more bullish, but we have to go higher than the previous high that we established over here, right? You guys see that we've had a similar trend of lower highs and lower lows on the stock chart. So if we can break that trend in the near term before the June 1st listing, that can be more bullish for the stock. And especially when the stock does get listed that day, we might see a huge pump into the stock as well. Now let's head to the weekly chart just to get a much clearer picture. 
And looking at the weekly chart, guys, you guys know that my key level on the weekly chart is the 20 exponential weekly moving average, which is this line over here. So what we see is that the stock has been getting rejected by this 20 exponential weekly moving average once over here and twice. And we got heavily rejected last week, right? So what we're seeing right now is hype off of this news. But does this news really warrant higher highs? It's possible it does. But... I do think that this isn't as important as people are making it out to be that we're getting listed on the NASDAQ, right? I mean, it's kind of expected from many tech stocks, so I don't understand why many people would see a huge importance on this. And actually, this line over here that we labeled on the daily chart can get moved into this region on the weekly chart because we've only previously wicked into these areas, right? So if we do see over the next few days, right, for the rest of this week, that IPOE is bearish and they kind of give back the gains that we saw today and we kind of close under this level over here at around the, um, what level is this? The $14.98 mark that is going to be very bearish for the stock and I do think we fall out of this sideways channel that we have established over here and we can establish new lows where we might see the stock trend to the $12 mark. But if we do break above this channel and engulf the previous uh, bearish price action that we saw, this huge bearish price action that drove the stock down 10% last week, that is going to be much more bullish for the stock because that would also mean we potentially are closing above the 20 exponential weekly moving average, right? So if we're able to kind of close in this $17 region, right, into this kind of $17.50 area, that is going to be much more bullish for the stock. And I do think we can test to kind of at least the $19 mark, which can be a 10% extra gain on the stock. So watch out for a breakdown under this area on IPOE or a break above this area, which would signify a channel breakout and a bullishly engulfing pattern on the weekly stock chart, which you guys know has the highest level of confluence because the weekly stock chart is the strongest compared to the daily and the hourly, right? The lower the time frame you go, the weaker the sentiment is on that time frame. So we can look at the other time frames to kind of see the quicker price actions, but on the longer time frame scale, it's important to look at these price actions because that can signal the overall trend of the stock chart. So watch for a breakout above this level and a breakdown under this level, and that can signify whether you guys want to be more bullish for the stock or more bearish. And if you guys did want to take a stock trade right now, understand that we are very bullish on the day, right? We did pump around 8% currently. So if you were to take a stock trade in this level, right, around the $16 mark, you are going to have to risk around an 11% area to potentially gain upside of, let's say, 20%. So that is kind of a tighter uh, reward to risk ratio, but you guys have to decide whether that's good or not for you. So please be careful and try to assess the risk in the stock chart that best suits your investment strategies. So guys, let me know in the comment section if you're buying SoFi stock, IPOE stock, and go and get your three free stocks when you use the links in the description below when you sign up for Webull and Robinhood. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.